and just down by the river. So let me show you the importance of conditioning your boots and waterproofing them with waterproof spray before you go out on the trail. So I'll show you right now. As you can see, the water just beading off. Water does not stay on your boot at all. So that just shows the importance of conditioning and waterproofing your boots before you go out. You have a GTX, which is a Gore-Tex membrane on the inside of most boots, um, and that's what is gonna keep your feet dry. But if you don't spray your boots with waterproofing, spray whatever spray it is, or condition your boots, you condition your boots to keep the leather fresh and keep the leather not from getting too dry and cracking and then you spray your boots with waterproofing just to keep your leather from soaking in um, the water so your boots won't get heavy on the trip. Like you're, you're, with the, with the Gore-Tex, your feet will still stay dry, but your boots will get heavier by soaking in the water and they'll take a lot longer to dry if you wanna go hiking the next day. So spray your boots, condition your boots. You don't wax up or condition your boots every hike. What you do is, Maybe just keep your boots clean after every hike. And maybe after every three to four hikes, you can condition your boots because you run the risk if you over, if you over condition your boot, that the leather will get too soft. And if the leather gets too soft, then it'll tear easily if you hit it off brambles or rocks or anything like that. So it's a balancing act, but always spray, waterproof spray, no matter what boot you have before you go out it'll stop soaking up water. Now, Martin's tip for the day. <laughs> uh.